Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as I try to complete this quest without angering everybody. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. I think I can't use, um, let's, let's talk, pick this thing, take this money, so that will take care of this guy. We need to get rid of witnesses. Uh, we need to kill the stripper that's in there. Uh, there's that fat guy over there, and there's this creepy guy looking at nothing. He's very into it, though. Uh, but, um, what we're gonna need to do is take care of, uh, this machine, so that guy, when he comes to get more money, he'll just have no more money. And he's gonna leave, because he doesn't have any more money. So... The... Lockdown. Let's activate the lockdown. So we go into, uh, Peep Show. I'm trying to do this properly. I've been trying it off on camera, actually, but I screwed up, uh, and, uh... Man, this place looks terrible. This place looks awful. There's no place to sit down, so you just stand there looking at this square in the wall while some grimy girl dances on the other side. You just touch that thing with your hand, and I would never touch that thing with, with let alone my hand, with, with nothing. Nothing. And this guy is very, of course, very not rude at all. And kicks things, because that's how it goes. Um, so the next thing, I think what I need to do is to... Let's make sure... I need to go in there, yeah. Let's make sure... This guy's still dancing. The lockdown doesn't apply to that one. It applies to this two. They're locked. But this one is... Un it's can it can't be lo unlocked. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go there. Talk to this girl over here. Hey. Hey. I was waiting in there for ten minutes. What's your problem? Uh, how about a freebie for me in the other room? Oh. Okay. I'll just go back into the pleasure palace. What the hell's wrong with her? Nice booty, though. Why, why did she say it like that? I'll just go back to the pleasure palace. And in this guy... She kicked, she kicked that door open. Mister, can you please not uh, stay there for that long? Yeah. Anyway, while he does that, and while we, we wait for him to come back... We're gonna need to... I think I, what I'm doing wrong is killing her with guns. I think we must not kill her with guns. Hopefully... I don't really know how it goes, but hopefully that's the problem. Let's talk to this guy and see if he... What can I do for you, slick? So, you know, uh... So you got a girl who works here with a broken heart tattoo on her back? Uh, yeah. Chastity. She works downstairs in the booths. But if you're looking for someone to, uh, pull your cork... <laughs> I got better girls than her. She ain't exactly adventuresome. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm sure she'll do just fine, though. All right. It's your dollar. But if you want a private show, you're gonna have to wait until the booth customers clear out. The girls don't come out for one-on-one -on -one action until then. Hmm, okay. So maybe that's what I'm doing wrong? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think it's what I'm doing wrong, but I guess we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, we can't really get that guy out of here. I heard... Oh, that was my step, though, probably. Hey, 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 where are you going? Don't go there again. Do I need to stop her there? Maybe I do. What's this? Hey. Well, here we are. You got something specific in mind? Because the clock's ticking, honey. Uh, no. What the hell? Oh, she's going back there. Okay. I think what we need to do is to um, drink her blood there. And she won't leave. I'm not really sure. This guy's not here anymore. That's good. She's still kicking the doors in. That's perfect. And... Okay. So she's... She's not our target. She doesn't have a uh, broken heart tattoo on her back. So this way, I should be able to take care of her there. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then go back. I'm gonna try and kill her with melee. Killing her with melee was way trickier, though. It is way trickier. So what I'm gonna have is, uh... Presence up. Uh, okay. Let me also save the game. It's a tricky mission here. It's a tricky fight. Okay. Go into this way. She's melee as well. She has a uh, katana, if I remember correctly. Hey. Yeah, she does. Activate. No, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I think, I think this is how you do it, though. Let's see, blood heal. I, I didn't get it. Be careful with the blood heal. Blood heal again. Yeah, I might die right now, but it's fine. Got a blood doll on the other hand, on the other room. I'm gonna die though. 
should have yeah, should have used the blood heal from the beginning. I think that's the play. Oh man, oh, we've gotten this so much easier. It's so much easier. Okay, going with uh, presence and then blood heal. Okay, keep an eye on the uh, blood heal right there. Yeah, you can moan and groan all you like. You're still gonna die. Okay, blood heal is gone. Get another one right there. Okay, I think you got this. Yeah, I think that's the problem here. I'm gonna try and see if it is a problem. Oh, they saw us though. That is the problem. Why did you come back here? Kill the hunter with no loss of innocent life. Hmm, she's hungry. Hungry? No, hangry. I think that is a pro. Hmm. Let me let me try it again. We need to be a little bit faster, or maybe we need to close the door behind us. Maybe that's it. Maybe all we need is to close the door. I'm gonna try and close the door if I have the time. But not right now. Let's go. Blood heal right there. Okay, it's a good opportunity. Another blood heal here. Close the door. Close the goddamn door. Left. Open the door. Okay, it's closed. Not sure it's gonna do us any good though. Okay, okay. Okay. Did I get the blood heal? I did. Man. The problem is there's no maneuvering in here. That is the tricky part. Is this just. I can't maneuver. I'm not. Okay, we go. We got this. One. Oh man. Okay. Get the, get that one. Get the blood heal right there. Okay. Okay. She hit me. Okay. Another blood heal. Okay. We got this. If I keep spamming the blood heals, we should be able to tank her. Okay. Another blood heal right there. Keep an eye out on the uh, upper left corner. I don't know if. All I want to do is not alert the, the girls. Okay, we got this. She's dead. Does she have a tattoo? Yes, she does. Okay. We didn't kill... Oh, I didn't sell this. I need to sell this. Okay. Hello. So, she came back. Huh. Okay. Is she hungry? Hey. Hey. I was waiting in there for ten minutes. What's your problem? Uh, how about a freebie for me in the other room? Oh. Okay. Okay, she just... just go back into the pleasure palace. Yeah, you go, you go. And I think we did this properly. Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, do this. Just get a little bit of my blood back. It's all good. Okay, got this. Now we'll go back to the guy upstairs. He's not gonna say anything. I think I'm doing this properly. I'm, I'm, I think I am. Hey man, what's up? What can I do for you, slick? I wanna see what you got, and I wanna sell you this thing. I'm gonna get, another, gonna get another one. I don't know where she kept that that blade, though. Did she dance with it? Maybe she didn't. Maybe she kept it somewhere very well hidden. Because she did keep her business to herself, according to Flynn over here. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go back to Velvet. Miss Velvet Velour. She likes us. She likes... Um, she wants us to call her Velvet, though. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it doesn't make a difference whether or not you call her Velvet or whatever. It's just... Uh, a little bit of detail, I guess. Let's see if I did things right. Hopefully I did. I need to attract anybody. Close the door behind me and all. Hello. Can't talk to her, though. Hey, I want to be a friend. What's up? Hey, cutie. Oh. Coming out to me right now? Why? I I, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. It's, you, you look very nice, but... You, you don't know each other? You could, you, could, you could not like stuff that I like. and you could, I don't know. You could be a, a, an idiot. I, I'll call you later, though. Oh, you, sorry. Anyway, let's... <laughs> Get out of here. Let's go upstairs. Talk to um, Miss Velvet. Hello. Look who's back. She doesn't look angry with us. Velvet. Couldn't stay away, could you? Uh, about that hunter. Mm -hmm. The hunter's dead. Mm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. There will be others. You'll have to do the same. Yes. I'm quite a compelling subject, I'm sure. Hopefully, though, I'll have some lovely young kindred by my side to protect me. Young kindred? Yeah, she's very old. I mean, she's a vampire. She, I th mm. I'm not. Sure, I'm pretty sure that she's at least a hundred, a uh, few hundred years old. Uh, I, I once read her background on the internet or something, or maybe she tells us that or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, you are, and you will. Mm -hmm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. 
Don't worry, I won't. Had a question though. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me about yourself. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have already asked that we had to, all that we had to ask. So see you later. Now we can talk to her again, and she will give us another quest. And uh, I don't know why I'm looking around, but uh, I guess another quest, please, Miss. Poor, poor David Hatter. The who now? David Hatter is an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear, just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Y you they're making another Shame Bear movie or something? No. It's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to kind is? Death. Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. Sounds like a plan to me then. Want me to kill Hatter and his source, right? No, I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is Kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you've found out who, kill him, betray him, but do not touch David. Uh, okay. So, sounds pretty serious. I'll, I'll certain things out. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. Good. Need to go there. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name. Oh, that's what I do. That is what I do. Yeah, leave it to me. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. I'll come back with David's screenplay. Don't worry. Yeah, she promised you... Oh. Promise... Okay, uh, she promises us her complete attention, but uh, she's not like Jeanette. I don't think so, actually. I, I'm pretty sure she's not. Hello, kitty. Uh, see you later. I probably wouldn't wouldn't want to be friends with her now that I think that I think of it. Maybe she. I mean, maybe she's a lovely person. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, just judging her from her job, basically, and that's petty of me and mean. Yeah, I'm doing bad things now. Why, why am I saying such bad things about her? Yeah, she's probably a lovely person. Maybe. Probably not. Most people are terrible. <laughs> In this game world. In the world. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Nah, people are cool. I tend to assume that everybody that I meet is just, you know, they're, they're not mean. They're just uh, some people, they, they don't consider your, maybe some pe some person, you know, crosses a red line. Maybe they're in a hurry. Maybe they're not doing it on purpose. Why is that? See what they're doing right now? See what they're doing right now? Maybe they're... I don't know. They, they're terrible people, aren't they? Yeah, that's red. That's a red. These guys were... Actually, it wasn't a red. I'm doing way worse, though. I'm sitting right in the middle of a street. Oh. So they don't cross. Cool. I didn't know this works like that. I, I never paid attention to that, but look at that. I mean, I don't know how he sees that, whether or not he can cross, but still, it's... See? And there we go. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing to me, though, the, the wall these things like on the other side of the it's weird anyway let's go to lucky star we need to go to lucky star we have things to do here we have a couple of things we have a couple of quests to uh, to complete here so how do i enter the lucky star again i think it's through the front door so we have one for the screenwriter that apparently is writing something about the kindred society hello uh and uh, it's quite a nice place this one and we have another quest that is all a B-rated of writer. That's the one, and we have another quest that it's all about. Um, Giovanni mentioned though, it's not the one. It's not about Mud Hunt. Yeah, we need to get, find Milton Mud, or I think Mud Hill, Mud Milton. I don't know. No, no, Mud, Milton is. Uh, who do I need to find? I don't know. It's a guy called Mud. Uh, so not quite a nice place. This one we got a TV, TV over there. So, another one over here for some reason, even though we can't see it. What's up, man? Sorry, no vacancies. Ah, it's fine. You had her, the writer? Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's 
what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, a, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, right? I'm a welder of montage. Word, what do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just like, ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120 page piece of film genius? But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so <laughs> that's what I write mostly, I guess. Horror? What kind of horror film are we working on? Me? I'm like, looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be believable. What do you know vampi about vampires? Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff, you know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? I'd love to see that. Do you have a copy around here? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you know the business? Look, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. Nah, I know a few people interested in making vampire pick, I guess. You do? Man, yeah. that's fantastic. I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Is it the only copy? But I guess that is. Don't worry about it. So, any co-writers or collaborators? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Oh, no. Don't you think he wants to be famous, too? I mean, who doesn't? Okay, okay. This guy calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's it's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. Under the pier, huh? Where the hell is this pier? Is it mean Santa Monica Pier? Probably. I'll be leaving now. Okay, so we have a quest. You have successfully, uh, you have been successful in your quest to obtain David Hatter's collaborated name. It's Julius, one of the Thin Bloods. Oh, that hangs on to the beach. Why is it one of the Thin Bloods? That's not good. Why is he doing that? Bunch of ass clowns. Anyway, we'll see what happens. So this is the oh, yeah, the pool doesn't have anything. Doesn't have water. Yeah. It's not, it's not, I, I take it back, it's not a nice place. This place is crappy, although it looks nice. It, it, yeah, it probably is crappy. I mean, look at these planters, whatever the name of these things. Look at that board. Ugh. We got a gate back here. Oh, man, but it, 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 it should be nice, but it isn't. But that's the, ple the, the pleasing atmosphere of vampire bloodlines, I guess. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see if I can go around. This guy's not gonna mind. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Yeah, I will, Deb, but uh, not right now. Um, let's see. Okay, there's nothing here. There's a, just, is that a joystick? What the hell kind of joystick is that? Okay, there's no nothing here. So what do we need to go is we need to go upstairs. To go upstairs... Oh, man, I need blood. I need blood. Okay. But what I'm going to also need, yearly, is bullets. I think. Maybe not immediately, but maybe. Okay. Open this thing. Man, how the hell did he pick up that? You saw that? Okay. Eight. Let me save the game here again. Because you never know. Be careful. Got a wallet. Got a toilet. Nothing in it. Oh, there's a prescription. A couple of prescri pres prescription bottles over here. So I will take them. The door is closed behind me, as usual. Man. Yeah, this place is not nice. It might have been nice at the beginning, but not anymore. Can't open this thing for some reason. Uh, oh can't. God. My work is done. Oh. Oh. Your work is done? Who the hell was that guy? Brothers Salvage. You guys remember this? You guys remember seeing this? Brother Salvage? The guy reads Brother Salvage as Santa Monica. Yeah, I remember that. I mean, this has got nothing to do with the fact that I've played the game so many times. Oh, there's shampoo bottles in there, but it's nothing, it's nothing here. Apparently that guy, what the hell, where the hell is that guy? Didn't he die? There's nothing here for us though. Okay, let's explore a little bit more. There's the other side. This thing is closed, this thing is not, this thing doesn't have anything. But this one. Yeah, he does like a little movement. Eight! All of these are eight. Yeah, we're not gonna need to bring our lockpick up anymore. Ooh, what is this? Uh, Easter... 
Eggs. Hack that thing. What is that all about? Lichen... Lichens. Hint. Nope. Hint. Open doors here often. Through the werewolf in the sky. In the end, the ending, you'll manage to pass by. Open doors here often. The werewolf in the sky. Hmm. I, I kind of don't know what that is. Invoices. Sending invoice list to printer. Please wait. Okay. What the hell is this printer? What the hell? Why the? Why would I need the invoices? I don't remember that. I don't remember seeing this actually. It could be just my memory. It could be the patch. I guess we'll find out. This one is locked. This one is locked as well. Okay. So we don't need the bullets or the weapon. So let's put it away and uh, see if there's a printer down here. Over here? No. Where the hell is this printer, man? What's up? Night eating you? Uh, so did you know there's a dead body in one of your rooms? Already? Man, that's early for tonight. <laughs> oh, well. I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up to protect and serve, right? <laughs> I guess I'm out of here, then. Uh... What the hell is this? Oh. David, a guest has left his laptop in room 3. I found out the password is Lycans, but it only has a weird poem in it. See if you can determine the guest's home address. And Christoph. That's the password. That's the reason why we don't mostly need the hacking skill but when we do need the hacking skill it's usually when there's no password and where's the media stuff so how printer yeah that, i don't know i don't know what that is all about anyway let's get out of here the cops are not going to show up i don't think so we're, we're fine and even if they do i mean we're gonna we, it's fine it's all good uh, so let's see we need to go to santa monica for a couple of quests we need to go to the pier hello uh, people um so we need to go to the pier and we need to go to the uh brothers of things of brotherness yep need a ride. yeah i do so back to santa monica we go and uh we could take care of the uh brothers thing immediately don't remember exactly how to get in there though i don't remember if it's through the front door if there's a back door i think there no i might be wrong okay corruption of the soul is pandemic no, it's all good. No the corruption of the souls. Fine. Oh, this is open. Okay. So in here. Let's go. Let's go in there and uh, meet this uh, guy that apparently is killing and jumping out the windows and... Oh, crap. What the hell? That was new. Who the heck? Who the hell is that guy? I don't know that guy. I really don't know that guy. Why was he standing there in the first place and why did he... Why didn't he say anything? Oh man, I, I seriously, guys, that that's not in the original game. But at least if it is, it's bugged and it doesn't trigger or something. Okay, we're gonna need this thing. We're gonna also need this key here that freezes the game because it's saving. And open the door again. Oh, there's a dog. Hey. Hey, what's up, puppies? These are oh, do I need to free them or something? Would I want to? Stop. Hey! Oh, yeah. I see you. I see you. Yeah. Oh! Dang it. Whoa! Man, I didn't forget how this goes. Okay. Okay, so the doggies are back there. They're cool. I don't need to bother about them. I can't really jump up on top of anything. So I just need to crawl through here. Try to figure out where to go. Damn, throwing beetles at me or something? What the hell is that? That's not even a beetle. It's uh, one of those old A-type things. I, I say A-type, but that's from GTA 2. Um, hey, man, what's up? Can you come here? I want to shoot you in the... Oh, the freak you do... What the... God damn it, I forget about this. There's, there's, there's a few playthroughs that I don't actually do this quest, and I'm taking damage right now. That's bad. And uh, that's why I forget. This quest is actually quite troublesome. Let's get our... Blood heal up. Didn't get to activate the blood heal. The hell was that guy? No! 
Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! What's the matter? Are you are afraid of a fair fight? No, but yeah, seriously, tell me why you did it. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. You guys remember this guy? Was that the uh, the diner before? So why did you have to make your nature known? Couldn't you just stab them? You think your bullshit vampire rules mean a goddamn thing to me? Nothing matters to me. Yeah, don't you want someone to know your story? Tell me. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? So killing people made you feel better? Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. So these murders were your revenge. Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds and licking their blood from my claws. Sounds like a good plan, if they were your revenge. Okay. So... Yeah. You got them. It's over. You can get on with your... with life, I guess. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. That's the beast talking. It was it has a hold of you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something. Maybe, but you lost control and have to to deal with it, man. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one. Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Do you think your family would be proud of what you're of how you're acting? No. Oh, God, no. No. It's got to stop. I can't live like this. You're right. Oh, God, you're right. I'll never do it again. I swear. Forgive me. All right. Go. Get on with your unlife. <laughs> yeah, it's better than to fight him. And I'm playing the, the diplomat, I guess. So that's why I did it. But uh, yeah, that fight is actually quite hard because he's a werewolf and our defense feats are not good. Not good at all. Where the hell am I? Can I go in there again or is that locked? It probably is locked. No, I can't go in there. Okay. Um, so let's vi pay a visit to Bertrand to see if he has anything new for us. And after that, I think it's time to end the episode because we're about out of time. Just to see if this guy... Hey. What do you need? Uh, nothing. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for today. I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This uh, so. I'm messing up my, my outro right now. <laughs> I was going to say, again, the same thing. But anyway, guys, you guys know what it is. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.